Hey guys, this is Funny Moot here, back with a new series, uh, playing the game Cryostasis here with me, Jess, and John. What's up? Yep. yep. Uh, we're just going to be playing this game. We saw that it wasn't exactly well known, but people were search. It was people were searching for it, but they weren't. They couldn't find it because it had been taken off of Steam. So we would give a playthrough and analyze it as we go. Yeah. Uh, hey, how did you first hear about it? I remember that being an interesting story. Um, I think it was from the Rad Brad. I saw him playing through it, and it was kind of where I discovered my my love for horror games, and then my terrifying fear of playing them. <laughs> so I would I would buy the games that the Rad Brad would play, but I would never play them myself. Mm. I'm like, hmm, yeah, I'm I'm a horror fan myself. Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, no, that's just kind of how it started. And I, I own the game yeah. for like seven years, I think. Wow. So. Yep. I think I did look that playthrough up when you mentioned it to me, and I, I think it was it was like 2013 or 12 or 11 or something like that. Yeah. Are, you, are you one of those people who's never finished Alien Isolation? Yes. <laughs> I have it. I, uh... was, I was determined not to be one of those people because I actually read an article that said something like 75% of people on Steam had not finished Alien Isolation. So you're not alone. <laughs> I mean, I, I just did it because I knew that. <laughs> my main reason for not beating that game, well, we'll go off on this tangent and then get back in and play. Yeah. But my main reason was not because the game was scary, but the game was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Bleep that out if you want. But anyway. It is bullshit, though. I actually modded it. I, I downloaded a mod so that you could use the pistol to, to, um, to uh, scare the alien away. Yeah. Which just, I justified it because it made no sense. That you couldn't shoot him with the pistol. That was bullshit. See, it, yeah. To me, no, the, the game had a lot of bullcrap mechanics. Yeah. But anyway. Anyway. Yep. So you ready to get in? Yes, I am ready to get in. Awesome. I will be Let's playing. Scare the pants off of us. Maybe. I'm not. I don't know if I'm. Did it, is that what I signed up for? I don't yeah. know if that's what I signed up for. Yes, Jesse. Oh. You will have no pants by the time this <laughs> video is over. Rape. You'll just see something scary, and it'll just be like, boom, no pants. I will have. No, I had nothing to do with it. Okay. This is your fault. This is all completely my fault. This is all on you, Jesse. I bought the game seven years ago, therefore it's my fault. That's right. All right. <laughs> okay. Will you read that quote? My story is comfortless. It isn't sweet or happy as fictional stories are. It has shades of senselessness and confusion. Of madness and dreams like the lives of those people who no longer delude themselves, Herman Hesse. Okay. We'll had, figure out what that has to do with I had to keep that up a notch. That sounds, that is some real edgelord shit right there. Yeah, that's like some modernism <laughs> type quotes. That's like, some 12 that's, year old kid who's dyed his hair black and spends all his time on the computer shit. It reminds me of uh, the old book called The Old Man in the Sea that was just full of nonsense quotes like that. Like Hemingway. Yeah. Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway. In a place that was bounded on three sides by impenetrable forests. Narration. On the fourth by the step. It's already a plus. Ding. Brave and cheerful me. I need to turn the volume up. But evil times came upon them. Other tribes came Well, that's a little much. No, 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 no. Okay, now we're good. Drove the villages into the forest. This is a good way to start your game. Wow, so it was a swamp? It had some thick ass trees, yo. Yeah, bro. Got those trees. This is some Wizard of Oz type crap right here. And turned them into zombies. And also the trees ate them. I can already see where this is going. Also, there was probably Shelob there. Shelob? Shelob from the Lord of the Rings. Uh, it's a spider thing. Oh. I think I know what you're talking about now. I feel like I'm in like a therapist's office. Too, yeah. <laughs> what, are, what are you seeing out of this image? It's 
too bad that we couldn't be like, you know, experiencing this through, uh, I don't know, gameplay, you know? We needed a prequel, that's what we need. This sounds like a really good game. I wonder why I'm not playing game. <laughs> Look, every game has a setting and a story, yeah. you know, we gotta develop that. You can develop it with an earlier game. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's a hand. Oh, hands. This guy has been laying posters out on his floor. Here we this go. is a pure millennial see? right here. Oh boy. See, see here. Those are some nice particle effects. I mean, Seriously. like, how, how old is this game again? I mean, I you said it, it was at least eight, seven. It's got to be at least eight years old. Something like that. Yeah, and and it's like, that's that's still really good. I mean, I know we're seeing it in higher resolution, maybe than you would usually see, but uh, yeah. See, this is where. I don't know. I'm gonna. This is this is where I'd have probably. Well, we gotta see some real quick. What? Sorry guys, ah, don't, don't mind me. Finally, gameplay and menus. Yeah. This is yeah. We're off to a good start. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was gonna see. Yes, I can turn subtitles on. I, that's just yep. a must. Hey, wait. Me. Can I you go back subtitles. to video real quick? Yeah. It says aspect ratio four three. I can't change it. You it's can't. A fixed, it's a fixed ratio. Ah oh, shoot. Yeah. So it's like we're seeing wide gameplay. Yes. Wait a minute. This can't be. They said, oh, they st we still have subtitles. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> okay. Great mechanics, my man. All right. This is, yeah, this is real scary, guys. We got subtitles, man. So and also, up. is that, I guess that's our temperature gauge. Yes, I'm yes. freezing. Uh, so I'm going to press the R mouse. This is a really nice area, though. It's got that nice light placement. I like that. Ooh, hey, I like this. Ah. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. That's some quick movement. Okay. Woo! I'm getting right. used to the game. Don't mind me. You might want to lower the sensitivity. I don't think I can do that. Yeah, can you just check it was real before quick? that time. Check. Go to op options. Options. Controls. Controls. Game. Weapon. Weapon. Oh, there. Mouse, Mouse sensitivity. Yeah, just cut that and, I don't know, buy a third or something. Boom. Okay. Boom. Who would invert their mouse? Can Can I just... Can I point that out? Come on, I don't, I don't know. That. I heard there are such people, and I don't judge them, but I would not do that. Okay, so uh, right mouse key is going to be your action. Press R mouse. Whoa. Would you get injured by the amount of ice falling? I wonder. I don't think so much, really. Wait, what is this? It looks like a flashlight. Yep. Yes, but why are we pointing at our... Oh. Okay, it's a, I get it. It's an introduction cutscene. How is that? You know that that flashlight. I, I thought for some reason that it was like you can hold the flashlight up, but it can only point at your face. <laughs> that sounds great. Yep. I like the ice. That is good. You, you, he, they're really hammering home the idea that this place really hasn't been. Seen no. in a long, long yeah. time. Yeah, it wonders how long. It makes me wonder how long we've been here, though. Interesting. Do you think you could lower the sensitivity just a little bit? Just a little bit more. more? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. As long as you're okay with cutting this all out. Well, that's all right. Actually, it's pr we, we can probably just leave it in. Probably. As long as we're talking interesting stuff, you know. Safe doesn't mean inter. Uh, what? Was it okay? Uh, you see, I tried to word there, but I think my uh, application class. Shit, I thought about computer demo. Who could buy? I became a Sims. Oh, wait. Why is the. Why it is looks the door like red? a hot door. Oh. Um, I thought it was hot. It's smoking hot, my man. Oh. Okay. Uh, it is the ice demons. I'm going to create ice. So. Wait, what are we doing? I, I don't know. I think we just died because we looked at. No. That. What? Uh oh. Okay, game crash. We'll be back. <laughs> what, just, what? A few inches later. So if it keeps getting glitchy like this, we might find another game. I have other horror games that we can do. Uh, but I just thought this one would be a good one because it's popular. Okay, so we'll continue. Okay, continue. Continue. Loading. Okay. All right. Voila. Sorry, guys. The the game kind of crashed there for a second. Um, yeah, it's it's like Metal Gear Solid, where it knows what your computer's doing. So it's, it must be one of, like one of those Lovecraftian games where you lose sanity points. You know, if you look at something <laughs> for too long, just, the game just crashes. It's like you can't. And the game's like, I can't take this anymore. Just like commit suicide. <laughs> <laughs> but 
you know, it's little pixels everywhere. If it just if it keeps happening, ones and I have... zeros all Ooh. over the floor. Wait, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> Binary? Binary like the program. Oh. Where? Oh, oh, we're it, back in it, here. It started okay. this back this way. Okay. okay. This thing. All right. All right. So now I'm kind of glitching through. Hopefully Plus we left won't control break. to sit down. Why would we sit? Sit down for a second. <laughs> what does that mean? Left control. You can't sit down. What does that do? Does that make you warm up or something? Maybe. Hey, it's left eye. Oh, hey. Oh, see, see. Now I get it. He's like, he picks it up, and so it's a. It's like how it's like how they have different animations when you pick something up versus when you you know activate it, like in Call of Duty, where it's like the first time you pull your gun out, you know, he cocks it, but then hey. all the other times he just pulls it out. I'm going in dark. I'm going dark. I'm going dark. I'm going dark. Danny Darko. What? There is a lot of light going on for a horror game. I think that's. I actually kind of like that. It's I like, think it's like you're supposed to feel like it's dark, but still, like, look, you have this giant glowing ice thing, and it's just. I it's think really we're pretty. Gonna, I like it. I think we're going to get a lot of feels of more of a psychological thriller, more than, like, focusing on the ideas of isolation than just pure, like, jump scares in this thing. Yeah. That's that where make, I'm getting the feel. That makes sense. Yeah. Especially because it's Russian. They, they have a... It's, it's a, Russian. They have a, they have a, it's Russian. Or it's Ukrainian, or... I, you know, I should know, but I, I have forgotten. Oh, wow. You know, I just realized he appears. Yep. Oh, no. Okay. No, no, no. Look away. Look away. Look. See? See? I knew it. I knew it. You can't look at him. But I have to go that way. Uh, go around. No, go I, I, around. I can't. Look, at, look to the right. See? Nope. Uh, I have okay. to go through it. We're there. going in, boys. Oh! Um... Cutscene. Oh, no. Look up. Okay, so I think they're explaining how we got down here, or how this guy got down here. That kind of makes sense, but why is he in a ship? This, he's not in a ship there, and now the guy's gone again. Huh. Oh. Intriguing. Interesting. I think he's remembering something not so much... Well, I don't know. Maybe he's, like, picking up memories off of the dead guys or something. Possibly. Interesting. So, I have a question for you, John. Okay. Should we go flashlight or no flashlight? Flashlight. Let's just, we gotta learn how the flashlight works, like what kind of battery it does. Does it and take stuff. double A's, triple A's, some special run. Soviet what? A's? Yeah, Soviet A's. Soviet O's. Soviet A's. Okay, so we have that, that yellow bar in the thermostat, it looks like, is oh, our stamina bar. Oh, okay, I got it, alright. And it will run out the more we use it. Okay. So, uh, can I, can, uh, uh, I don't think that's, I don't a, think that's a game no, mechanic. That's, that's a that's a see there. Yeah, use that. Uh, oh, that's a, see that one's a catwalk. We are Russians. We we use unconventional methods. I, I don't think the game will allow us, comrade. Oh dang! It's actually oh, this, jumping takes stamina too. That's a uh, that's okay. That's gonna get really difficult in the future. Yeah. I, I already don't like well, that. Well, horror games horror games do this a lot. Like I I actually oh, there's another one. Another guy? Um, see, he was trying to climb the catwalk. He couldn't. Oh. Wait a No! We're following ourselves back up, I think. Maybe. Um, you can't drive, right? There's nowhere to go. I'm just. Oh! Yep, see, so that's see, why we fell. We're going. We're going. Okay. I think he's. Yeah, I think he's just recounting his memories or something. Yeah. As far as movement, you are too weak for anything. Ah, I see. But you will sure cover more sprint. stamina, but you'll get tired, and you'll get tired less and recover faster. So, progression. Good. Yay. I like progression. All right. That, yeah. That, that, I mean, that I works for me. I remember that they did that in Alien Isolation, and I tell you what, I was really kind of disappointed by that, because I know there's trying to make a horror game, so there's stuff that comes along with that, but, I mean, I remember being a kid, okay? And I remember... You know, if you scared me, like legitimately scared me, like we were in a game of tag or something, you know, and I felt cornered or something, you know, there yeah. were, I could magically do things that I did not think I could do, Fighters you know? Fight. Yeah, exactly. And you think, like, like this is, tends to be the two extremes that people go to. Okay, so, uh, I don't I'm not going to lie, it's kind of creepy that I'm seeing myself, like, you know, 
Do you, do you see this happen to you often? Oh, yeah, all like, the time. You're just in, like, McAllister's, and then you're just seeing an old version of yourself? Yeah, they're, they're kind of ghostly. They're not nearly as solid as that. Very you know? frustrated working on videos. Yeah, it tends to be kind of monochrome, you know. And then I blink, and I hear this ring in my ears, and I start to feel really mad at my parents for some reason. <laughs> 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 all right. Oh, but, right, so we're, so we're just... I like this. This is you're getting a, you know little pieces of previous memories, and then it kind of leads back, and there's a little more to the story each time. And I do think that if they do this more than a couple of more times, oh, kind of interesting. I think it's a mechanic. That see, that's interesting. They did the, the game. They did the the falling catwalk. So you come back, and it's like, whoa, back up. Oh, okay. So do I have to? Well, this is oh, interesting. I mean, yeah. how are we going? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we're barrel. following ourselves back. Or? Screw this barrel. It's hard to tell what we're doing. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get confused here. Well, let's just but relax in, and get in alien, in a bit. In Alien know? Isolation, you cannot even vault over, like, you know, railings. You know what I'm talking about? Oh. Okay. This is, I think this is the time mechanic that they were talking about. I remember there being something about that. And then, okay, so... Go back. At least they're changing the order a little bit. No, no, no. Actually, they're just going back. So this is right. Okay. So, um, oh, we have control now. Hey, Let's look at that. Stay there, doggies. We'll come back for you. Let's just absorb. Oh, hey, the, what's that? Uh, let's just absorb the scene a bit. Can, yeah. you, can you pick that up? The paper. Pick the yeah. paper up. Yeah. Pick the paper. Alexander Nesterov, a junior oh. research assistant at the Pole 21 Polar Station is due at coordinates 86 <laughs> degrees 21 north, 74 degrees 57 you know, east. You know, usually they just let you read March, it, but I can see why they went with the other decision. <laughs> this, this is doctor handwriting level. You know, <laughs> look around a bit more. Is there, this reminds me of Ice Age ice. You know what I'm talking about? Like where it's just a little bit too shiny. You know, too even. Walking up here, right? Yeah. Um, you know, this reminds me of, or what was I talking about? I was talking ice about mo mobility. Or you had Ice Age and it was like ice. It's actually pretty good at ice effects for the game. Um, so, if they want us to follow the dog a bit? You know what? I like the dogs. I bet the so, dogs are going to die because I like them. One thing I'm one thing I'm kind of entertained with right now, the story's creating, is just the, the like I say, the whole isolation aspect. Yeah. And the fact that they're, they're telling the game, they're telling the story very abstractly, right? I like, I like the dogs. I mean, puppies are nice, too. <laughs> they're not. It's very good for leading us on, you know? It's like, it feels very natural. He's, he's, he's always there, you know? He's always at the right point to lead you on. It's like, ruff, ruff, ruff. And it's like, you don't have to go. It's not like in some games where you, oh, wow. I think the dogs are taking turns. Weren't they on leashes earlier? Like, yeah. how did they get out of the leashes? I it know. is kind of weird. What else is going on around here? Do I have to follow well, up there? I, I guess. You can probably look around if you want. Um, all right. Me to the point, bro. Yeah. You know, this almost doesn't look like a glacier necessarily as much as it looks like, you know, when somebody, like we're on a giant snow hill and it's, it's been like smooshed into I, by somebody's hand, you I know? I feel like we're in the cover of the hills have eyes. Or whatever it is. Hills have ice? No, it wasn't because I'm... Oh, okay. That was a pun. I see. <laughs> All right. He does have ice. The hills have us. Oh, he does have ice. Okay. Can we just discuss why this would be? What? Uh, that's... What do you mean? Is that an actual thing that's like on ships like this? Yeah, that's how they scrub the outside. It's oh. like a window cleaning thing. You know? Otherwise, you get stuff that like sticks to it. You know? Like... Another interesting thing is my character slowly shifts. Ooh. I'm not even pressing on the key. He's sliding. Cause but he's, he, because it's ice. It's icy hot. It's ice. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, That's, and this is how we got, we got down to here. here. Okay, so they're telling the. So what they're doing is they're just so, telling the story yeah, of how you got here. Right. It's a, and then. And we're back. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Okay. And has my heat changed? I have some different. Uh, I don't know. Um, I mean, the red gauge is... I don't remember where it was. Uh-oh. Um, uh, you just went towards the red thing, huh? 
Uh, I'm getting that's how the game wants us to move. Okay, progress. yes, that's that makes sense. Some man had a ton of beans, okay? <laughs> he had a knight in here. Look at this. Even, it looked like, like paint those, cans, actually. Why can't I grab... This would be useful right now, you know? Uh, I cut, If I was in this situation, I would totally grab this Cut knife. ice. Cut ice. Ice. Oh, ice, yeah, that's what maybe. I was saying about alien isolation, is, is that, like... They were trying to build progression through guns, see? And I was like, dude, no. I want, this is a horror game. Run away, right? So progression through speed, progression through quietness, progression through vaulting over things. You it's know like, what I'm talking about? Like, look at all those railings. There's railings all over Alien Isolation that are just like that. And I could not vault over one of them. It's just like you know? um, it's just like the whole idea of building a horror game through oh, jump man. scares, right? That guys, wait, so at some point in the past, we stuck our... Okay, so it's not... Oh, no, that guy's dead. No, he's dead. I was like, it looks Wait, see, like. Is he from, dead? From this angle, it looks like dead. he just stuck up his head into the into the electromagnet or fan uh, or whatever. John, and it's like. Bleh. I don't think he's dead. Um, I think he's gonna. Oh, no. I think you need to get past this. Can you get past. Oh. Uh. Kill up. How is it going? The cans are in place. No sign yet. Okay. Sit down. Uh -oh. We knocked down. Warm up while it burns. We knocked down the I brought two more crates to dry. So we this crew here. What I'm getting is the crew here what? was kind of stuck in shipwreck. What did they think Sit the down. cans were going to Warm stop? Up while it Hold them. We have to like absorb. We can't just sit next to it. We actually have to like. No, your hands are the most vital point on your body, right? This is like one of those... Where, are we absorbing psychic heat or something? Oh, no. Oh. Wait, are we in the past? Oh. Okay, that guy, I think, is the zombie man. Yes, we're, I think we're so. in the past. So that's how that happened. Uh, that's kind of cool. Okay, okay. Let's, just, let's just pause here for a second. They're creating the... Not many games do this. They create the they create the scene first, and then they then they just kind of leave it there, right? Mm. This game is putting a reason for why everything is broken and how the the world around you is shaped because of the the monster. I think that that's kind of cool. That is pretty cool. I like that. It's yeah. a lot of thought. Now we All have right. to go back here with this dead, dead Oh dead no! Guy. And now we know. I'm naming him Jeff. Wait. Oh shit! Look around! Look around! Jeff's gone. Uh, Jeff is gone. Shoot. Uh oh. What? No! Shit.